وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد My beloved brothers and sisters a lot of us including myself we ask ourselves these questions and we ask those who we believe to be better than us and more driven than us uh, these these questions and that is how can i stay motivated how can i stay focused how can i be driven this is a question i think all of us ask ourselves right so inshallah ta'ala in this series i want to go in how can you be uplifted how could you be self driven motivated bi'ithni llahi l-karim i'm going to give you five 10 ways inshallah 10 ways bi'ithni llahi l-karim in which you can attain it bi'ithni llahi l-karim if allah tabarak wa ta'ala gives you this and you are driven motivated you're enthusiastic you are dedicated then wallahi brothers and sisters all types of stress all types of anxieties depression all goes and what replaces that is happiness tranquility and ease if allah blesses you with this subhanahu wa ta'ala things become easy you will be able to attain your worldly benefit and your hereafter benefits you will be able to attain the objectives that you're looking for in life the ibadat the acts of worship become so easy and so fulfilling acts of obedience generally become so easy and so enjoyable you will learn or you will have the strength and the ability to observe benefits that benefit in this world and also in the hereafter if you have children and you have your know, offspring that you're going to put their benefits and what they need at a high level and you're going to be able to to execute the dreams that you had so much benefits come from it and allah tabarak wa ta'ala when he commanded nabiyullah musa to go to fir'aun at-taghiyah the trans like transgressive tyrant individual fir'aun allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded musa to go and to convey the message to him nabi lahi musa turned to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he supplicated he asked allah for something what he asked for allah from allah is what every single one of us needs to progress in life he said rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri he said oh allah uplift me expand my chest and make matters easy for me the first part which is rabbi shrah li sadri is self motivation rabbi shrah li sadri means to be driven it means to have assurance and tranquility and to have conviction in what you're trying to achieve He knew Nabi Lahi Musa that he can't do this mission if Allah doesn't give him this. He supplicated straight away as soon as he was, he was told, "Idhab ila Fir'aun innahu tagha." Musa straight away he said, "Qala Rabbi shrah li sadri." My Lord, Ya Allah, 
expand my chest. Give me that drive, that motivation. Uplift me, my Lord. Expand my breast. Give me assurance. Give me conviction. amri And make my matters easy for me. There is a bond between self-motivation to be driven and matters being easy for you. وَلِذَلِكَ النَّبِي اللَّهِ مُحَمَّدِ Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala He mentioned a favor on him. Allah is saying, I favored you, Muhammad. When he said to him, أَلَمْ نَشْرَحْ لَكَ صَدْرَكَ Did we not, Muhammad, did we not expand your chest? Did we not expand your breast? Here, what it means is your chest here means we gave you assurance. We gave you conviction. We, make, we gave you self-motivation. All of that Allah said we gave it to you subhanahu wa ta'ala. This shows you it's a minhatun ilahiyya wa atiyyatun rabbaniya min Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. It's something Allah gives subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibn al-Qayyim he says, فَشَرْحُ الصَّدْرِ مِنْ أَعْظَمِ أَسْبَابِ الْهِدَايَةِ One of the greatest form of guidance is what? If Allah tabarak wa ta'ala gives you that. That شَرْحُ الصَّدْرِ Allah expands your chest. وَتَضْيِقُهُ مِنْ أَسْبَابِ الضَّلَالِ And if your chest is squeezed together, it's tight, that's one of the means of misguidance. كَمَا أَنَّ شَرْحَهُ مِنْ أَجْلِ مِنْ أَجَلِّ النِّعَمِ وَتَضْيِقُهُ مِنْ أَعْظَمِ النِّقَمِ The greatest blessings comes, wallahi brothers, when your chest is big. If you have that big chest, Brothers and sisters, you can do the things that people will say is impossible. You would be able to do it. Ask yourself this question. Every one of you who's watching. Why is it a person who goes to a gym, who works out, who puts the effort and the strength in? He's got six packs. He's got big arms. He's worked out. He's done everything. Is a skinny person who doesn't work out, has not much strength, easily be pushed, is able to remove the duvet from himself. Go to the masjid, pray with energy and enthusiasm. And this other person who's physically يعني, in shape can't do that. The matter goes back to what? Alam nashrah laka sadrak. The matter goes back to صدري ويسرلي أمري. You will see an eight-year-old achieve, nine-year-old, ten-year-old achieve goals after goals because he's got that. And you will find a person who's in his late sixties has never achieved that in his life. This matter, brothers, is something that we really need to discuss. And I hope بإذن الله الكريم بإذن الله الكريم that when I speak about it in this series, that a lot of you will be idhnillahi al-kareem, change for the better. I ask Allah that he gives me it, subhanahu wa ta'ala, myself, and each and every one of you. The 10 reasons that I'm going to mention, inshallah ta'ala, they go back to two. They will go back to two. And that is, for you to be self-driven, self-motivated, for you to have that conviction, for you to have all of that, لا ينال إلا بتوفيق الله تعالى وإعانته للعبد. You won't attain it if Allah doesn't help you with it. نبي الله موسى, who was selected and picked as a prophet, he straight away ran to his Lord and he said, رب الشرح لي صدري. وَيَسِّرْ amri. He called on to his Lord. He can't do it by himself. How many of us ask Allah for help? How many of us beg Allah for help? Say, Ya Rabb, give it to me. We're crying to other people. We're talking to these people. We're going to therapists. We're going to a consultant. We're this, that, that, that. We're not going to Allah. The second is... This is a minnah wal hibah min Allah Ta'ala. Because it's a gift, because, if, because it's a favor from Allah Ta'ala, la tata'alla, la tata'atta illa bi ta'atihi wa luzumi shara'i. You won't attain it unless you follow his commandments, Allah. 
and you follow his sharia ah, to get that drive you're not going to get it unless you follow Allah tabarak wa ta'ala's commandments and what he legislated this whole entire topic goes back to these two the heart my beloved brothers and sisters is, is in Allah tabarak wa ta'ala's hands yuqallibuha kayfa yasha Allah tosses and he turns it the way he wills subhanahu wa ta'ala if Allah tabarak wa ta'ala chooses to bring your heart upright to uplift you to give you that motivation and that drive there's no one who can take it from you and if Allah chooses not to give it to you there is no one who can give it to you Allah says in the Quran فَمَنْ يُرِدِ اللَّهُ أَنْ يَهْدِيَهُ يَشْرَحْ صَدْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ وَمَنْ يُرِدْ أَنْ يُضِلَّهُ يَجْعَلْ صَدْرَهُ ضَيِّقًا حَرَجًا كَأَنَّمَا يَصَعَّدُ فِي السَّمَاءِ Whoever Allah wants to guide them, He expands their chest. Allahu Akbar. It goes back to the point. This, Allah gives them that motivation. Allah gives them that certainty. Allah gives them that clarity. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He expands their chest. Then they accept Islam. And whoever Allah doesn't want to give guidance to them, يَجْعَلْ صَدْرَهُ ضَيِّقًا The person is, his chest is tight. They roll, roll up in bed. They can't wake up for Fajr. They can't do any act of obedience. They can't read Quran. They can't do anything. صَدْرَهُ ضَيِّقًا His heart is tight. حَرَجًا كَأَنَّمَا يَصَعَّدُ فِي السَّمَاءِ It's like he's climbing the sky. Also Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He said in another ayah, أَفَمَنْ شَرَحَ اللَّهُ صَدْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ فَهُوَ عَلَى نُورٍ مِّنْ رَبِّهِ Whoever Allah expands their chest this, with Islam, then this person is upon light from his Lord. Light! He can see. What he wants in life. You see people, you look at them and you say, SubhanAllah, how does that person know what, what he needs to do? How is he focused? How is this person achieving one thing after another? Why? How? Allah has placed that, that thing inside that person's heart where they are driven, they are motivated, they are upon certainty, they can see the light that we're talking about فَوَعَلَى نُورٍ مِّن رَبِّهِ means they have a light they can see the prize at the end of the tunnel and they're focused on that all of these distractions are not getting in their way it's not getting in their way well, لكن the one who doesn't have this guess what every little noise that's made he looks and he spends years on that and then he comes back again and then he and then he Here's another noise and he goes towards that. Every single time a little noise is made, he's, 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 you'll see them there. He's not focused. He's not driven. He does not have the light. He doesn't have that inner strength to push himself to the next level. Wallahi, it's a sign Allah tabarak wa ta'ala hasn't given you that. And you need to cry back to your Lord and beg him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Allamat ibn al-Qayyim and he said, أن حال العبد في القبر كحال القلب في الصدر نعيما وعذابا وسجنا وانطلاقا. Wallahi brothers and sisters, قسما لمن أحل القسم. This statement يستحق أن يكتب بما يذهب. This statement by itself that ibn al-Qayyim said here, Wallahi deserves to be written in ink of gold. Ibn al-Qayyim, he said, the situation of the slaves in the grave is like the situation of the heart in the body. When you're in that grave and you're buried inside that grave, it's either bliss or it's punishment. You're either in prison or you're either in Jannah. You're free. The qalb is like that inside the body. It's either in bliss or it's in a punishment. Or it's in a prison. Or it's free. If your chest is tight, it's a prison. The heart is in a prison. The person can't see the religion. They can't see their worldly benefit, nor can they see their hereafter benefits. As I said, 
His heart is what? وَمَنْ يُرِدْ أَنْ يُضِلَّهُ يَجْعَلْ صَدْرَهُ ضَيِّقًا حَرَجًا كَأَنَّمَا يَصَعَدُ فِي السَّمَاءِ you, A lot of people say this. I can't get up. I can't do it. I am, I am unable to. What do you mean you're unable to? Physically you can't do it? Is someone holding you down? No. I just don't feel motivated. I just feel lazy. هذا هو. There you go. Why? Is anyone holding you? No, no one's holding you. Is anyone? Pr no, no one's prisoning you. You're not a prison for anybody. You're not in chains. No, you're not in chains. Hey, the chest here hasn't got that motivation. It's not uplifted. It's not driven. It doesn't have insur assurance. It doesn't have the conviction. It doesn't have that, uh, what the ayah says. The light from its Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Are we all together, brothers? There are signs. There are alamat bayina, clear cut signs. And there are also dalalat wadiha that are apparent upon the believer, which a person plays, pray, praises Allah wa for, for. Okay? Inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to be in the Kareem. I'm going to go through those 10 points, inshallah ta'ala, one after the other. I ask Allah wa ta'ala that He gives us these yani, qualities. Yani in order to attain that self-motivation, to be driven, to be passionate about the benefits for us in this world and the hereafter. That was the introduction to the topic, inshallah ta'ala. I'm going to be in the Kareem, go through, uh, in each episode, I'm going to go through one of those characteristics. So you're going to have 11 episodes, inshallah ta'ala. You can watch. You can go over again and again, inshallah ta'ala. وَبِاللَّهِ وَحَدَهُ التَّوْفِيقِ وَمِنْهُ يُسْتَمَدُّ الْعَوْنُ وَيُسْتَمْنَحُ وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ وَسَلَّمَ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحَبِهِ أَجْبَعِينَ سُبْحَانَكَ اللَّهُمَّ بِحَمْدِهِ أَشَهَدُ وَلَا إِلَهِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ استغفرك واتوب اليه